So now we're going to do a vibration test on this machine. We've checked run out. We're going to use the Machine Defender app to take some vibration data. Now there's only a few things you need to know, very basic things, to build this machine. Number one, we need to know its horsepower. Number two, we need to know its running speed. And number three, we need to know the basic configuration. It is, this is a motor, it has a coupling, and it's driving what we're going to call an overhung fan. So we're going to set this machine up and collect some data on it. I'll go into New Machine. It wants to know the horsepower. I'll call it 1. It wants to know the RPM. We're going to start it up, and we're going to use a strobe light just to lock in the running speed on the machine. I'll let it get up to speed. I will adjust my strobe light. You could use a laser tachometer to do the same thing as long as you got a piece of reflective tape. And it looks like our running speed is 3,537 RPM. So I'll probably write that down just to make a note of it or just leave it running so I know. So I just type in here 3537. Uh, it wants to know if it's on a solid base or sitting on spring isolators or neoprene pads. In this case, this is a steel table sitting on hard uh, rubber wheels onto the floor. So we're going to say this is a rigid machine. I won't have to change that. Lastly, we're going to give it its configuration, how it transmits power from one side to the other. It doesn't use belts. It doesn't use a gearbox. So in this case, it defaults to a coupling. Uh, we're going to tell that there's a coupling here, and then we'll tell it that this is an overhung fan. And we could go in and name the machine whatever we like. In this case, we'll just stick with my machine. I'll hit the check, and we're ready to start collecting data. So I'll start this machine up. I'm going to take my WLS sensor, this wireless three-axis sensor, and I'm going to mount it on the outboard end of the motor. You always measure from power transmission in this direction, so we'll go outboard motor, inboard, inboard fan, outboard. So I'm going to go to the outboard motor bearing. I have to tell it where it's mounted. I could mount it vertically, I could mount it horizontally, or I could mount it axially. In this case, we're going to mount right here on top, so it's a vertical mount, and I need to tell the RT300 where I'm putting the sensor. And I will just hit the button to collect the data. It only takes just a minute. Now I see these three red bars, so I've got an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. All three of them red means all three are in a long. I'm going to move over to the inboard bearing, carefully mount my sensor, go into the RT300, tell it where I place the sensor, and tell it to collect the data. And in this case, we're getting alarm bands in all three directions. That data's collected. We'll move over to the inboard fan bearing. Mount our sensor. Again, we tell the RT300 where the sensor is. Tell it to collect the data. Now in this case, we've got a y-axis in alarm, but X and Z don't, don't look too bad. We'll move over to the outboard end. Carefully mount our sensor, and again, tell it our placement, collect the data. As soon as the data is finished, we can shut this machine down, and we're going to get an instant diagnosis on site as soon as the data is collected. So let's shut the machine down. While it's coasting down, I can touch on the diagnosis key, and it only takes just a moment. Accurex is going to look through, tell us what's wrong with this machine. And right now it tells us that we have a misalignment problem, which I knew we did because I misaligned it on purpose so we would get an alarm of some sort. So now, red means we're in alarm. It has three stars of confidence in its diagnosis. I can touch on this down arrow here and get a little better detailed analysis of what's going on with the machine. In this case, what would I do first? The easiest thing is to align it. If I can align it, I may fix any other kinds of problems that may be going on or some, but we know we have a misalignment problem, so let's go in and fix that. 